welcome to an unboxing masterclass. Thank you so much for joining me. I am trying to contain my excitement, so I thought I was going to make an official unboxing masterclass just so that I keep a grip. <laughs> and timestamps will be in the description if you want to skip ahead, because when I say masterclass, there are some rules we should abide by when it comes to receiving new orchids. But do we really abide by those rules all the time or as well as we should? I don't. <laughs> so I thought I was going to take it step by step, try to explain the rules of an unboxing, because maybe you thought it's just, ah, my box is here, my orchids are here, I'm going to dive in and rip into them and we're good to go. No, ideally that's not what you should do. So the first rule that I'm already breaking is, do not unbox your new orchids in blistering sunshine. Do it somewhere shady. As long as there's airflow and it is somewhat cool, you can do it in blistering sunshine. But if that comes hand in hand with heat, not such a good idea because orchids are stressed out when it comes to shipping. I am doing it in blistering sunshine because this box has been in my possession for the last 24 hours in a cool part of the house where the temperature of the box starts to match my ambient temperature and that is ideal not to open it straight away so that there is no temperature shock within the box. Can you wait that long? Normally I can't. However, what you can do is open the box, don't take out the content, open it so that air can come in. That is fine. <laughs> you can do that. You will also need to prepare yourself with some cutting tools that work. Ideally something sharp. A knife will also do. You don't want anything blunt. You don't want to hurt yourself because you're shaking and trembling with excitement that you got yourself some new orchids and well <laughs> nothing should slip out of your hand you want to be cutting into material and sellotape and whatever else they wrap your orchids in without cutting your phalanges then be kind to your new orchids welcome them with a welcome cocktail of calcium and magnesium and seaweed mine is at a ratio of 40 parts per million of seaweed and 60 parts per million of calcium and because I know my orchids are coming in organic medium, I have my pH at around 7 because I am not sure how fresh the organic media is and I don't want them to soak into something that gets more and more acidic. And in order for the soak to happen, you would need yourself some containers. Maybe you already know the amount of orchids you're getting. Maybe you're completely unaware. Take into consideration the size of the pot that you bought when you placed the order. And I'm very happy to say I just got myself some airflow. That is nice because now we're going to get into the box. And afterwards, once my new orchids are soaking in their welcome cocktail, I'm going to tell you the story as to how this box came about. If you've been following my channel, you will probably recognize some candidates. And well, thank you, Michael McCarthy and Larry Jones for this. Thank you so very much. That's a giveaway. Let's go and see what they look like. I followed instructions. I was umming and eyeing whether I should follow instructions or go with what I thought I wanted to do. So these orchids came from a kern in Belgium. And seeing as I did have a little bit of a sneak peek into the box to make sure that I had opened it at the right end, because not all boxes come horizontal, this one happened to be packed vertical, I was very happy that the 50-50 ratio of getting it right, <laughs> I managed to cut it open on the top as the way it should, because sometimes I do it the opposite way around and media goes everywhere. At least in my home, it goes everywhere. What happens during shipping, well, you know, that's a different story. Now, I also prepare my own tags in advance. That is optional, but I have sort of a standard tag thing throughout my entire collection. So we are going to go with the smallest one that I can see first. You see, sharp cutting tool advisable and uh, yes it is a blustery day today so I'm going to have to maybe get my box back 
so that I can contain the debris. I am doing very well so far. I, my hands are shaking a little bit because, <laughs> well, maybe you'll understand. Trying to stay very composed with all of this. Deep breath. <sighs> all right. There's one. She's tiny. <laughs> Touch how hot the glass is. It's not too bad. You also want to be able to find a quiet spot where you can unbox your new orchids so that you can really enjoy the process. Clearly, I don't have a quiet spot. We're on the east side of the patio. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not waiting another 12 hours to get to my orchids. Admire the packaging and the wrapping that they came in because that means the nursery cares. Please, please, please say a little prayer that they are in good quality. Because, you know, gifts, you don't want to be losing them. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't yank the orchid. Let her come out naturally. Hello. We've got tissue going up. What does that mean? Very, very careful with whatever is around the orchid. Whatever that is, if that is a spike, you don't want to be pulling on it. Nope. It was a trick. <laughs> it was just excess tissue that looked as though it might be wrapped around a spike. All right. Contain your packing material, especially if you have pets. Because if you have pets and they go running off with any kind of packing peanuts, which thankfully is not in here, I much prefer this recycled material that's pretty cool. I can deal with that. And then get to the one that um, was not part of the instructions, but <laughs> I'm glad I've got it. So let's have a look. See, try to reduce the shaking in your hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now Remove whatever little is left and expose your orchid to the world, to the world, to anybody watching. Hey, I'm so happy. Yeah, enjoy the moment by being happy, expressing your joy. And if you're still physically fit enough, do cartwheels around whatever patio you have or hang upside down from the balcony yelling, yippee -i -a! This is just, you see, I'm trying to contain myself and that is why I so desperately wanted to do something masterclass like, you know, stay serious, stay serious. In life, we deserve a second chance and Michael McCarthy and Larry Jones thought I deserved a second chance. Now, maybe it's going to make sense to you because first of all, Thank you to the two of you for my Catlia, as I like to say, Lelia Ungareri, but here she is as Catlia Ungareri. This is a replacement orchid. And I so hope this is in focus because I see diddly squat on the screen. I can see a beautiful little orchid that is supposed to be two years from blooming, maybe three. And she replaces the one that I got in 2021 from Floralia in Brazil that I just recently lost after trying to get her through with massive amounts of TLC. And I thought we had made it, but thrips came along as well. And well, that was it. At this stage, you get your container and you pour the welcome cocktail in. And you can be very liberal at this point so that the orchid gets the maximum amount of liquid around the root ball without risking the base of the orchid. That's perfect. And then if you have your custom labels, what you do is put your custom label into the Tupperware, just so that you don't forget when it comes time to repotting, this is your label with your orchid. The next one is Millery crossed with Longeeps because 
My Millery is a little bit of a disaster, but she is trying, so I'm going to help her for as long as possible. And, well, here's a Millery as a cross. It's a primary hybrid with the long yeeps, which I also have. So if both parents survive, I've got their little baby. And I'm loving this with the new growth right there. Yeah, this is looking fabulous. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> Oh, thank you guys so very, very much. Apart from the fact that, again, I'm unboxing when there is a windy, windy day. Everything is looking gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm trying to make sure that nothing gets blown away. Okay, the next one. Hmm. This is Banda Glossum Alexandra 2.0. Yeah because Dum Dum here made some serious mistakes with the first one, which was doing well in Orchid Top. And I thought, you know what? Seeing my instructions were to go to a Cairn specifically, I thought, yeah, I'm going to give myself another go because normally I don't get replacements if I don't know what I did wrong. But I am under the assumption that I'm very well aware of what I did wrong with the predecessor. And this one, hopefully, will not suffer any of the similar consequences. Love me, Evando Glossom Alexandra. And I got myself a bigger tub here for her because of the leaf span. Now, the final step is to put them into a shady place with lots of light. Do not expose them to any of the harsh elements. Keep them nice and protected. Do the opposite of what you're seeing here, but you know, we are filming and everywhere else is a little bit crowded on the patio. And if you're still with me, how did this happen? How could I be so blessed by two people who saw that things were not going to go very, very well and are trying to preempt the sadness that I felt in losing my Angareri, which at the time was not a loss. In the video where I introduced the need help with your orchid form, which is also always pinned in every comment, make sure you touch the leaves for heat. Don't want to get them crispy on their first day. But in that video, Michael said, well, I don't need help with an orchid, but I could give you something to your PayPal link, which you could then get yourself a Angareri replacement. Angareri was already looking pretty sad, but we were still fighting, you know, still fighting for survival. Long story short, Larry Jones piped in and said, I will throw some pennies in there for that cause. And then I was dithering, umming and eyeing because I was sure that my Angareri was going to make it. <laughs> Clearly, some viewers know more than I do and are already far ahead of me by seeing what they see on the screen. So yeah, this is how I get a 2.0 Angareri. I get a millery, even if mine doesn't make it, but there is something of a millery on my patio together with my other Rapiculus Lelias. And I get the chance to do right by Vando Glossum Alexandra again. And I hope that this time you will see all of them bloom, do very, very well, and that I can honor your trust, belief, and faith in me, you, Michael McCarthy, and Larry Jones, that you would make this happen. Yeah, well. <laughs> And after you finished <laughs> unboxing your newcomers, rejoice! <laughs> what can I say? What can I say except thank you so very, very much for doing this for me. Yes, it's put a smile on my face once I placed the order. Ah, so happy. And thank you for watching as well. I appreciate your time. Have yourself a beautiful day. I know I'm already well underway with a beautiful day, but you have yourself a beautiful day as well. On one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye. Woohoo, I'm so happy. <laughs>